Hey folks, today I want to talk about how to make string parsing easier in C using str toque. We'll talk about some of the things that, that are great about it, some of the things that are not so great about it, and some of the things that you got to watch out for. Strings in C are simple. If you're coming from another language, they're not objects, they don't have methods. A string in C is just an array of characters with a null character at the end so that you know where it ends. That's it. Um, the most common functions for manipulating strings, you're going to find them in string.h and string toke or str toke is one of them that a lot of my students don't realize is there. So I want to talk about it. String toke tokenizes strings. That means it takes a string and splits it up into individual chunks using some delimiter that you provide. So this is common. Um, this is a common enough task that every language has some variation of it. Uh, for Java, it's the string tokenizer class. For Python and Ruby, you have a split method for each string. Um, and C has str toke. So, uh, so let's let's take a look at it. The first time you call it, you give it a string that you want to tokenize, and a string containing your delimiters that you want. And each call to str toke returns one token until there are no more, and then it returns null. So, so just so you can see what happens, let's look at this program. This is, I mean, just a simple example program. Just for illustration purposes, I've so so I have a, a a input string that I want to tokenize, but I'm also using a delimiter um, that actually doesn't show up in the string at all. So so now if I run it, well first let me compile it. If I run it, then you're going to see that it just returned the same string. And I'm I'm printing out the pointer. I'm printing out the address of this string so that you can see as we go that it's actually it's not copying the string it's just returning the string that I gave it in the first place um, so okay so let's come back to our code here we'll for illustration we'll just leave this example right here but now let's change up the delimiter and use a comma okay now now you can see that, yeah, so it's still, the first one's returning the same string. The second one is returning just that first token. So it went until it found a comma, and then it, it just returns ray. Okay, so if I want to tokenize the whole string, then I simply can put it into a loop. But now instead of this, instead of giving it the original, the first string, I just pass in null. So when I pass in null, I'm basically saying, hey, remember where you left off on the last one and keep going until you see another comma. Okay, and so this is going to go through basically until token returns null. And so you'll see here, let me slide this up a little. And now if I run it, so you can see now each time it's returning the individual tokens. And you notice that two of my two of my elements were actually separated by colon rather than comma. Sometimes you end up with files that, you know, with text you have to parse that has a weird structure like this. And so I can simply just go in and add colons to my delimiter string. And that's just saying, hey, look, um, I want you to include colons here. So yeah, so now we got all of them. So now we have all the names uh, parsed out, and that's that's cool. Now one thing I want to point out is that these addresses, you notice that not only does it return for that token, it returns a pointer to where that token started, but each of these others, each of the other tokens are actual pointers into this original string. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that str toke is destructive. So str toke actually changes the string uh, so just just to give you a sense of how this works, if at the end I decide to print out, um, let's just print out our original string. It's called input. then you're going to notice that, that that original string down here is only going to print out ray, 
right? That's all that's left. And really what's happening, um, we can take a look at this and see. So let's break on line 26. Okay, so so we run to this point now. If we if we look at what's going on here, um, and examine our memory, let's say we want to look at all 64 bytes uh, in hex uh, input. Okay, so so if you look at the at the output, what you notice is that there's the bytes for Ray are here, and it inserted a null character in the middle of my where the delimiter had been and then returned a pointer to the next token which starts right here and runs over here and then another it adds a, a null character again so it's basically going through that original string and breaking it up by sticking null characters into that string and then and then just giving us back a pointer into the middle of the string so just a note if you're going to use str token you want to make sure that if you if you need that original string to be intact that you make a copy of it before you start calling strtoke. That's one important thing. The other thing is that strtoke strtoke stores uh, the where you left off in a static variable, and so that means that in in essence, strtoke is not uh, thread safe. So if you have a multi-threaded program and more than one thread is going to be calling strtoke, this could be really bad. I won't give you an example. You know, piece of code here just uh, because of time, but uh, but if you look at the documentation for str token, you'll notice that there are two. There's str token and there's str token underscore r, and that's basically underscore r is the reentrant version, and so that version, if you look, has an additional uh, has has an additional pointer which keeps track of where it left off. So you're basically saying, hey, here's where I want you to store the last location. And, and that way, this allows you now to work in multiple threads and not have things get corrupted and blow up on you. So yeah, so anyway, that's that's uh, str toke. I hope that's useful for you. Um, it's also fairly simple. If you think about what it's doing, uh, it's fairly simple. You could very easily write your own version of str toke. Uh, if you want it to behave slightly differently or if you want to change it so that it actually makes copies or that it's not destructive. Uh, I won't do that here, but I'll leave that as an exercise to the viewer. Um, but, but yeah, there's a fairly simple operation. It's all open source. You can find a bunch of different implementations out there. But I just want you to know that it's available if you're in a hurry and you need to break up some strings. You don't have to do it yourself. So that's all. STR Toke. It's super useful. Have fun with it, uh, play around with it. It does have some problems and hopefully I've made those clear. Uh, but yeah, put it to, put it to good use and um, hope you do something great with it.